All right, welcome everybody. This is going to be a tutorial for those of you all who are new to using Microsoft Office, who have started writing papers that require MLA format. Uh, this will be a tutorial that can show you how to set up your paper in MLA format and get it from a blank screen, something like this, to a paper that looks like this, a paper that has your name in the top right corner, um, your professor's name, everything that you need on here to get ready to go. So setting up an MLA formatted paper, um, we're going to break this up into two parts. Part one is going to be about creating your MLA formatted header. The header is the part of your page that is up here at the top. It's this little bitty piece that's going to go at the top of every page and you can format your header so that it is the same on every single page and that'll save you a lot of time when you go back and make edits on your paper later on. So first thing that you're going to do is click insert here at the top of your screen. Open up the insert tab. That will bring you to a, a tab that looks like this. If you look on the right, you'll see the header icon. Go ahead and click that. That will bring up a menu that looks just like this. You're going to actually click the very first one. You don't need any other sport of, sort of special formatting. MLA formatting tries to keep things pretty simple. So just click that first one and that will shift the screen's view so that you can see the header. Double click within the header. That's going to change the part of the text that you're editing to the body to the header up here at top. And then you're going to click the page number button on the top left. Now once you do that, you'll select the top of page because in MLA format, they want the page number to be at the top of the page, not at the bottom like it often is in a book. And then you're going to choose plain number three. And that way, every single page, it will automatically insert the page number beginning with page number one. And there it is. You can see the little number one right there. Next step will be to type your last name and only your last name, not your first name to the left of the page number and add one space after that. So with me, my last name is Malloy. I would type Malloy and hit space. And so my header is actually finished now, I'm just Malloy1. Next step, type control A on your keyboard and that's a shortcut for selecting everything. And that's gonna select both the last name and your page number. So you can see how it did that right there, selected both the page number and the last name. Anything that would be written up here would be selected. You're going to go back to the Home tab. It'll look like this. And that's going to allow you to change the font. MLA requires Times New Roman font, so go ahead and change the font to Times New Roman. And change the font size to 12. Right, you can see it got a little bit bigger right there, and the font has changed. Then you're going to go back to the body of the text and double click. That's going to allow you to edit text in the body and not only in the header. And that way you can worry about uh, creating a heading for your paper, the format for putting your name and all those other things that we saw at the beginning. So do you see this little box right here? There's a real, real tiny little one next to the word paragraph. You're going to click that, and once you do, it's going to bring up this paragraph pane. There are two things that you need to worry about here. The first is to check the box that says don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. Checking that box will ensure that when you press enter to go to it and begin a new paragraph, you're not skipping a line. It'll just continue on the next consecutive line. So now that box is checked, next thing that we're going to do is click this little tab to open up a drop-down menu and change the line spacing of your document. MLA format asks for double, spaced, uh, double spacing. That way your professor is able to read these easily and write comments on your work. All right, now that that's selected, you're going to click OK. All right, so everything should be ready to go to begin typing. Go ahead before you begin that typing and change the font one more time. You've changed the font in your header, but you haven't changed it in the rest of your text. So change the font again to Times New Roman and the size to 12. 
you're going to want to type your full name, in my case, Andrew Malloy. You're going to want to type your instructor's name in the line below that. Whether you be in high school or college, you'll put your uh, instructor's name. Next, you'll type the name of your course. So it could be English 1. If you're in college, it could be English 101 or 1001. And then this is a little bit strange, but you're going to put the date. Um, and they want the MLA format wants the date to be formatted as day, month, year without any punctuation. So no commas. A little bit different. So if your paper was due on February 12th, 2019, you would put 12 February 2019. Hit enter and that's going to bring you down to the next line. And then you're going to want to center align your paper. So if you can look at the top right here next to the left align button that we saw earlier. Here you're going to type your paper's title. Every paper in MLA should have a title. And you're going to hit enter to skip to the next line. At this point, you should be ready to go, ready to type the body of your paper, and that's how you set up a paper in MLA format.